And there's others of you who, who can say, when I started giving, somehow, some way, God started, I know this happened to me. And you got to know, you see, some people have in their mind, you know, preacher, well, I give as I prosper, and I only get paid once a week. Let me tell you something. That's not the only way you prosper is through your weekly check. Sometimes God will bless you with monies that had nothing to do with your weekly check. And it's part of how you have prospered. I don't, this is not my only source of income as a full-time gospel preacher. Sometimes, well, it is, but I do gospel meetings. Now, when I do a gospel meeting, it's not my weekly check. Now, God might bless me tremendously when I go do this meeting because I did a job, the people liked it, and then when I went, they paid me well for it. Now, what am I supposed to do? I'm only going to purpose for God what I got that week. God may have blessed me with something major. And even though I got it somewhere else, it's still part of what God prospered me, and I still ought to give him something for blessing me. Anything he gave me, I'm going to prosper something. And God's going, I'm going to give God what he allowed me to have. Now follow this, Exodus 35, and we're going to close. Now look at verse 4. I want to show you in this text that when it came to the sanctuary, God said, I want you to build me a sanctuary. But here's what I'm going to show you. God came up with the pattern for the sanctuary, but he told Israel, I want your resources. No resources from you. My plan won't be further. Now, I want you to notice in the text, he's going to call this offering the Lord's offering. Which means my giving, that uh, their, their giving was to God. But what they gave to God, he used for his purpose. Look at what happened. The offering was worship. They offered it to the Lord, but when God got it, God said, now use what you gave me to build my sanctuary. Exodus 35, 4, what does it say? And Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, Read. saying, this is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, What did he command? Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord. Now take you, take from among you an offering unto for the Lord. Read. Whomsoever is of a willing heart. Now watch this. <laughs> I want an offering. But I need somebody who got a willing mind. Oh, there's, there's, there's power and having a willing mind. See, God says, if my sanctuary is going to be built, I want you to give your resources, but I want you to understand it needs to be of a willing mind. Are y'all all right in here? Doctor, we want a willing. God wants a I want you to desire to give it. For God loveth a cheerful. Is that in your Bible? You ought to be willing to give to God for his purpose. He said, now I'm going to build my sanctuary. I come up with the pattern. I come up with the plan. But I need your resources in order for it to be built. If they didn't give the resources, the sanctuary would have never went up. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Where did they get all these resources? God gave it to them when they came out of Egyptian bondage. And the Bible says they left with great substance. God fixed it so that when the time came, they would have something to give. I told you, whenever God asks for something, it's because he'll make a way for you to have what he's asking for. Are you seeing that? All right, go ahead and read. Let him bring it, an offering of the Lord, yeah. gold and silver and brass. All right, drop down to verse 21. And they came, everyone whose heart stirred him up. Oh, ain't that something? They, they getting excited with God. Bible says when it came time to give to the Lord, they got stirred up. Oh, look at y'all. Y'all not stirred up at all. Yeah. <laughs> they got stirred up, church. They got so excited because they became a partner with God to build where God wanted to dwell. So the book says they had a willing mind. They were stirred up. And you ought to get stirred up when it's time to give. Praise God. When you come to give, you ought to be coming in here ready to give to the Lord. You know why? Because you know you're not giving to the leadership. You're not giving to the preacher. You're not giving to anybody but to God for his purpose. All right, go ahead and read, Fred. And they came, who, everyone whose heart was stirred, whose heart stirred him up. Yeah. And everyone... Whom his spirit made willing. That's the second time we read about having a willing mind. Look at verse 22. Well, no, no, no. Read the rest of that verse. Read the rest of that verse. And they brought 
the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle Read. of the congregation. Read. And for all his service. For all whose service? His service. For whose service? His service. For whose service? His service. Everything they gave. I want you to see why they're giving church. For his purpose. Are y'all seeing that? All right, go ahead. Now drop down to verse um, number 22. And they came both men and women. Read. As many as were willing hearted. Read. And brought That's the third time we read willing. Read. And brought bracelets. Bracelets. And earrings. Earrings. Rings. rings and tablets. Tablets. All jewels, jewels of, gold. of gold. Read. And every man that offered, offered. Read. An offering of gold unto the Lord. Now look at that. Look at that. Now drop down to verse 24. Read. Everyone that did offer an offering of silver and brass brought the Lord's offering. Read. And every man with whom he was found shittim, wood, Read. or any work of the service brought it. Read. And all the women that were uh, wise hearted Read. did spin with their hands. Not only did they give their finance, but they gave their talent. And it was women. Isn't that wonderful? You women could give your talent to the church. All right. And the Bible says they were willing hearted. They were stirred up. Watch verse 29. 29 says what? The children of Israel brought a willing offering unto the Lord. Read. Every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all uh, manner of work, which the Lord had commanded to be made by the hand of Moses. Every time you read about the giving in this chapter, I keep hearing the word willing, willing, stirred up, stirred up, willing, willing, willing hearted, wise hearted. Why is that? Because when it comes to God and his giving, you got to understand when it's for his purpose, you ought to have a willing mind. You ought to be stirred up. Giving should not be something that makes you depressed. And I laugh at some brethren sometimes when you talk about worship. You know, we have now come to this part of the worship. We have now come to this part of the worship. Then when it comes to giving, they say, we have now come down to the giving. Why, why I got to come down to giving? Praise God. Why giving is a down step? Y'all all right? I ought to come up to giving. Praise God. Because you ought to be stirred up. Look at what happened as we close. We see that God asked them for an offering to him. But he uses it for his service and the people had a willing mind the people were stirred up you know and I hate to make this comparison it is such a false practice and such an abuse in denominational churches and you find them running up to the stage I don't know if you've ever seen this and they're throwing money on the stage and, and, they, and all this money is covering the stairs. And it looks so strange and out of order. But now that I got your attention, it's a false practice, but look at the mindset. The mindset is that somehow, some way, they have grasped the understanding and appreciation of giving. So what we have done is gone to the other end of the extreme. We don't put it in the stage. We spend it somewhere else and don't give it at all. And what happens is we say, well, God, well, I don't have enough to give God. No, sometimes it's that we mismanage what God gave us. And we go and get the most powerful so uh, the most powerful phone we got with a camera on it, with a video camera on it, and with all the specialties on it. And we take pictures of folk. And we take pictures of folk that we already know what they look like. And, and praise God, we want it on our phone. And we're doing all, spending all that money, and we spend four or five hundred dollars, because I've done the same thing, and I got this fancy phone. And then when it comes to worship, I say, I ain't got it. So whatever God blessed me with, I mismanage it and then tell God I ain't got it. Well, I, I tell you, I almost wish I was preaching to one church because y'all be saying, preach, hey, what, you know. I'm suggesting to you that God needs to be in your budget, not for me, not for the leadership, but because you're worshiping God and you're using it for his purpose. And when you read the rest of the Exodus story, the Bible is going to say Moses had to tell the people, stop because you gave too much. Now, here's my suggestion to you. Don't stop giving until I say it's too much. Is that all right? When I say too much, go on and stop. But until that day, go on and give bountifully. 